Hey, our next guest is hoping to inspire you. She's partaking in a 3,100 mile bicycle ride from New Mexico to Florida, all in honor of her mother, Helen, who she lost back in 2010 to Alzheimer's disease. Sue Wilson, thanks for taking the time off the bike <laughs> to speak <laughs> with us today over the phone. How are you today? I'm doing very well. Thanks for having me, Todd. Absolutely our pleasure. 3,100 miles, that's a long trek. There, obviously, there are many ways to raise money, and you obviously have a, a personal connection to this cause. What made you choose cycling? Yeah. Well, my husband and I had owned a bike store for 30 years in Adrian, Michigan. And when you own a bike store, you don't get a lot of opportunities to go on long bicycle trips. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, when we were getting close to selling it, and I had learned about this tour, it's a supported tour for women, uh, it just really appealed to me. And I thought it'd be uh, a great way to raise money for the Alzheimer's Association also. Well, let's talk a little bit about this trip. How, how are you doing it? How are you breaking it down? Uh, miles per day? Do you have a, a deadline of when you want to finish this? And I'm sure you've run into some crazy weather out there. Oh my gosh, the weather enters into it way more than I had anticipated. Um, but we actually had started the trip in 2020 in San Diego, California in March, and then we had to shut it down due to COVID mm -hmm. uh, because we were unable, we knew we weren't going to be able to get food. And um, so we made it to Silver City, New Mexico at that time. And then we restarted um, this past March, and we're aiming to be, the schedule is we will be in St. Augustine on May 4th. And we average, um, it's about 58 miles a day. Oh my, <laughs> 58 miles a day. That's a lot of pedaling, and obviously, it sure is. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure that's a lot of time in your own head, right? On that, on that, oh, for sure. on that, on that bike in your own head. And so, there have to be moments, hours maybe, where you where you really put yourself back at, in 2010 uh, with your mom. I'm sure that she was a huge inspiration for this journey. Oh, absolutely. My mom was was such a force of nature. Very one of the most positive people I've ever known. And she, she would have loved to have done something like this. She loved to challenge. As a matter of fact, after she and my dad retired, they joined the Peace Corps and went to um, Papua New Guinea for two terms. So she was a great example, and I, I wanted to show her I was paying attention. Sounds like somebody who just never slowed down, right? Yeah. Kept, kept going and <laughs> kept right. going and going. Do you kind of feel like she's with you when, you, when you're out there pedaling? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I'm, I'm sure, and she, like I said, this is definitely something she would have done when she was a teenager. Yeah. She hitchhiked to Yellowstone for a <laughs> summer job. <laughs> oh, she hitchhiked to Yellowstone. Wow, that yes. is, she's an adventurous woman. All right. Yes. You know, yes. She loved adventure. <laughs> let's talk a little bit about the cause here, Sue, because I mean, Alzheimer's, dementia—that that's tough for the entire family. I mean, the family usually ends up becoming the default caregivers, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How, yes. did, how did the Alzheimer's Association uh, partner with you or help you? Well, I um, how it helped for me was going to their website, alts.org, alz.org. And you can just get so much information there. And when you're a caregiver and you're experiencing this, you just you need to know about the resources in your community, what is out there to help you. And they, that website is the place to go to, to start for sure. Absolutely. Great information there for anyone who's dealing with that difficult chapter of life. But you... Uh, obviously, raising money this is a fundraising event for you to pedal all this way. How do, we, yeah. how do we help? How do we personally donate to you or help your cause? So you can go to the, web, the Alzheimer's Association website, alz.org slash longest day. Longest day is the campaign that I'm raising money for, mm -hmm. and it does. Uh, June 21st solstice is the longest day, and the longest day with the most light, and that's the day we fight the darkness of Alzheimer's. So if you go to the Alzheimer's website, longest day, and look for my name, and there my name as a participant, and you can donate that way. And Sue, I hate to do this really quickly, because you're never supposed to ask this of any, anybody, but how old are you? <laughs> how old are you again, Sue? I'm 64. 64? Uh -huh. 3,000 miles on a bike. Uh, two, you are in, the tour for women 50 and over. You are seriously an inspiration, Sue. 
Keep going. Thank you. We're behind you. Women in this group are, I tell you, there's a woman who's 80 in this group. Oh my goodness, 80 years old. Good on you. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. Sue. Keep trucking, and we're behind you. We want to get more people over to your team page. Do you want to learn more about this? Alzheimer's Association website, as you heard, it's act.alz.org. And Sue's team page is called Wheeling for Healing. And of course, we'll have all the links at fox17online.com as well. We'll be right back.